Can hormonal changes at perimenopause and menopause affect your cholesterol? Absolutely. So the menopause transition brings about many changes that can lead to abnormal lipid levels. We see an increase in LDL and ApoB and triglycerides in perimenopause. Multiple studies have shown us that oral estradiol is effective in lowering LDL and ApoB and transdermal seems better at reducing triglycerides. If you're already taking estrogen and still have high lipids, especially ApoB, I highly recommend getting a blood test to check your sterol levels. You can order this blood test from Boston Heart or other similar labs, and it will tell you if you are a hyper absorber of cholesterol or a hyper producer of cholesterol. If you're a hyper absorber, you'll want to add lots of soluble fiber, especially pectin to your diet, along with a probiotic l ruteri You'll also respond well to the medication Zetia, which works great for hyper absorbers. If you're a hyper producer, you'll want to consider a statin or supplements like bergamot or berberine. Red yeast rice is another option, but frankly, you're better off just taking a low-dose statin since the active ingredient is the same for both. And finally, anyone with abnormal lipids should be taking a hearty dose of omega-3 fatty acids, vitamin D3 with K2, and I also love CoQ10. Was this helpful? Save this video and share it with your friends. Follow along for more hot tips and major revelations.